Hi everyone, it's Ink Day. <laughs> anyway, I have a new ink, and I was just gonna take a look at it here. And um, I went down to my local uh, bookstore, uh, the Bookmark in Charlottetown here, and they have a, a nice selection of inks. They don't have a huge number of brands, and they've tried different things over the years, and they had a few sailor inks left over. And apparently, um, as I've learned after posting another video or two about sailor inks, this um, the sailor gentle ink has been discontinued, but I was able to get a couple box, a, a box of, or a bottle of, uh, uh, a new ink that, well, new to me, that they had left in stock, and it's the Sailor Gentle Ink Grenade, and so I, I have a, I'm just going to do a little color swatch with it and take a look at it. Uh, one thing I noticed about this is when I went into the store, I didn't think they had it. I had looked online and I liked the color and I went down to the store and then I looked at the shelf and I couldn't see it. And I thought, oh, all they have is the blue and all. And you know what? One thing they do is they put a little sticker on. They have a uniform box and they put a little color sticker down here. It, when you rub your finger over it, you notice, you can tell it's a sticker that they just stick on. But from a distance, when you're standing across, you know, a counter looking at a shelf and, and all you see are blue <laughs> and it, you know, uh, so here's the sky high blue I have. And I, I thought, oh, all they have is blue, but they have a little color codes right here. And, uh, you know what, uh, why not? You know, when I look at dye minings from a distance on the shelf, you see all the different colors right on the label and you can tell what you're getting. You know, you don't have to be so close up. You go, oh, they have the color I want. You walk up, you see it. This is a little difficult, <laughs> especially with, uh, you know, as your eyesight starts to get a little uh, <laughs> older, such as mine. Um, anyway, so just a little complaint. But anyway, it's redundant because they've discontinued this, uh, I don't know, this line, but this size. People tell me that they've gone to a smaller bottle. Uh, so yeah, it's this, so what I have today, that's my complaint. I wouldn't be Canadian if I didn't have something to complain about. But that was the only thing I noticed about it. Just a little packaging thing that they might want to think about in the future. Not that they're listening to me. Um, yeah, so you open it up and it's a beautiful little bottle. Actually, nice size bottle. Shallow. And when I first bought the Sky Blue, I was wondering what happens when it gets low. It's going to be hard to fill because of the shape of the bottle. But inside, there's a little, uh, there's a little cone. And as you see... It gives you instructions that when the bottle gets low, you flip it over, you flip the bottle upside down like that, and then you turn it right back up and the ink gets caught in a little, no, I'm going to say a cone shape inside here that, that will hold the ink. And I guess it, it drains out eventually. So you stick your pen into the cone and you fill the pen and it works. I, it's, I, I, I have seen it in, a, in platinum carbon black and a couple others. And it's a great idea. Um, works beautifully uh so yeah and and i like the bottle up <laughs> i i somebody asked me why do i keep my inks in their uh, their boxes all the time because you know as he was as a viewer was saying you know the bottles are so beautiful it's a shame to to uh not see them and i agree but i i do tend to keep my my boxes because they're easier to stack you know i have uh i don't have a large ink collection by my most <laughs> most pen fanatics standards but uh yeah it just makes it easier to stack but i i do love the look of bottles actually and uh actually a friend of mine uh, i'm getting off topic i well not helped a friend of mine she had a at the last pen meeting she said anybody want some empty bottles she had some old uh ink bottles and she keep, kept them but she has more than she needs and they're vintage bottles and i said i'll take some <laughs> and another person said i'll take some you know and i'm going to just display them empty the empty bottles on my shelf because they're all and if when these all uh when these all get used up i'm going to wash out the bottles and I'll, I'll keep the bottles and i'll have a little display you know that's a that's pen people are weird people we keep strange things. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the bottle. If that is anyway. So yeah, nice wide cap. I you twist the cap. I twist the cap off. And you see this once again another red ink. <laughs> I love red inks. I I've said that before, but anyway. It, uh I'm not red. It's it's almost a magenta actually. 
but it's a beautiful color and I love it. And you put it on and you get those such rich tones. And I, and, uh, I hadn't really tried a lot of sailor inks. I still only have like three, three, four, three sailor inks. And I have a couple samples and I have tried it in samples, but trying it, I really like it. I like sailor ink. It's very well behaved ink in your pen. It's beautiful. They have some nice colors. <laughs> this all, this really, um, you know, even though it's, uh, I, I say it's kind of a reddish, it's on the red tone, but it, when you write with it, it it's, it's a very magenta ink. Um, I just realized that I have a pen inked up, but it's halfway across the house or actually just in the other room, but I don't want to leave the walk off and come back with it. So anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, I love it. I like red inks. <laughs> I like burgundy inks. I like, uh, yeah, I have a thing for it. One color I've, you know, I like blue inks too, and I like blacks, but I, I, one ink I've always had trouble with is gray. I've never found a gray I like. And even though this is not really scientific, what I usually like to do in these little videos is take a little uh, pipette, put a little bit of ink in it, and drop it in some water because it's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, Sailor Gentle Ink Grenade. Beautiful ink. If you try, uh, so as I always ask, if you have any suggestions for me, I would love to hear it. What sailor inks do you like? Do you like sailor inks? Do you not like sailor inks? Are there any colors that I should try as a person who loves red inks? You know, any brands I should try that have really spectacular inks? I haven't tried Pilot, so that yes, I know. I've had samples of Pilot, but I don't have any Pilots, and there's some beautiful Pilots, and I should just get some but I keep going down other rabbit holes all the time and anyway so what do you uh what colors do you like let me know in the comments below it's, it's really nice hearing from people and talking to people and I hope I re remember to pour this out before I take a sip of it I have a coffee on this side I better not think this is juice later and drink it <laughs> it would be terrible better empty it out before my kid sees it and thinks oh juice anyway i'll do that <laughs> so anyway i hope you have a good day if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you if you're new to the channel i'd love it if you subscribe and if you aren't new to the channel but i haven't already please subscribe it's it's fun watching the channel grow slowly and i'm learning a lot about youtube as i go and i i like learning new skills and this is a new skill that i'm getting well i'm learning about I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm getting more confident at making videos, but anyway, it's a lot of fun. So I hope you all have a great day. Thank you very much.